In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. You know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. Oh, we're... This is the last episode, right? Where we dropped her off at home? Interesting. I thought it starts like a new episode fresh, but... Oh. Maybe that promise will be this finale? Probably? No, this is the special day. It's a finale. Come on. Horoscopes? <laughs> I mean, look. You guys can make fun of girls that are into horoscopes and they look at what kind of sign they are to determine their personalities and their compatibilities with other people. I used to make fun of them. Then I realized I was looking at tier lists for fucking children's party games called Super Smash Bros. Melee. Or other dumb shit like that. And then I'm like, am I better than them? No, I don't think so. Let people have their fun. Probably like a psychological test to see how compatible these two are. Help me. Help me. I don't know. Wouldn't have expected that. Okay. You're gonna yodel in an extreme situation? <laughs> you shouldn't yodel when you're attacked by a bird. Actually, no, I hear you're supposed to like... Try to get as big as you can, raising your hands, and start yelling at bears to make them scared. If you play dead around bears, I think you die. Okay. What a trivial, what arbitrary question. How the fuck am I supposed to know? I don't know. Uh, 69, 420. Those are my magic numbers. Maybe 11. Just one. Why just one? <laughs> Number of people. <laughs> I mean, doesn't the date count as going on a date? Technically, it does, right? The movie date last episode. You're pretty much dating her. Oh, well, there's a difference between like dating someone versus going on a date, if you know what I'm saying. Why is she getting all. I don't know, maybe she's like thinking like, am I the first? Like, has he ever gone on a like, ever, ever dated somebody? Okay. Two? No, there's gotta be like an even number of kitties, probably. What are we doing, man? <laughs> what are these questions? 20? Oodles of kittens. I didn't know oodles was a, a unit of measurements. Two versus oodles. Hmm. What? Incompatible. Number of children you want to have. So, Shiraishi wants two. Kubo wants oodles of children. Hmm. Just two, right? I thought it was just compatibility, not like, hey, how many babies you want together, baby? Bye-bye. 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 Hmm. She seems to be excusing herself out of embarrassment. Because usually we walk home together, wouldn't we? What you thinking about? You want to have kids with her? Hmm? She's probably so embarrassed. You want oodles of children? <laughs> Shameless indeed! Is that tea? Maker? Maybe? Never mind. Coffee this late at night is not good for you. You should have tea in the afternoon. Coffee during the morning. No, she's actually a grown girl now. She can drink coffee if it's with milk and cream. Wow, so mature. Oh my god. Oh, we're on a date? Yes, like in the last episode. Went out with who? Uh, Pixis probably knows, right? Which, which dress should I wear? Oh. I hope she teased her when she was leaving. Oh, Pixis helped out? Hmm. She's more accepting of Big Sister's help. Because it's really important, okay? Can't fuck this up. 
I want to see Big Sis in a ponytail too. Wow. You can't even see the ponytail from behind. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like if you're looking at the mirror with the ponytail, like the front is gonna be the same, right? You gotta look at the back. But anyways, yeah, that looks fantastic. You know, it's that boy that she uses your expensive shampoo for. He even came over for a shower, by the way. Wait, even cuter than uh, the little cousin? I forgot her name, fuck. But, you know, the little uh, Kubo clone. A little baby? What is this age difference? Ha. Are they that? I thought she's just in like college and she's in like is she middle school. The age gap for her to be that small and her to be that grown up. I guess there is a big difference. <laughs> big sis used to have such long hair. Shorter now. Wanted to wear a ponytail too. Oh, big sis is so complimented. Oh my goodness. Does it have milk and sugar in it, though? You're drinking coffee this late at night is not good for you, man. It just ruins your sleep. It should be coffee in the morning, tea in the afternoon. Today's protagonist. Oh, it's his birthday! The finale is his birthday episode. Okay. Because they don't know you exist. The main character meter. Well, all that matters is that Kubo knows it's your birthday. Oh. The stomach growl actually... Wow, I thought even if it growled, people wouldn't know. Is that because of his main character meter? Everything else is just like buffed? People can notice now? Did you bring us custom bento? Birthday bento. Just a... What is it? Chocolate? A snack? Thanks, I guess. Liar. You wanted to hear that. She loves it when he's like humiliated. Happy birthday! Oh, look, it's a little cake too! Stop. Stop. First one probably to say that to him, right? Today? Maybe mom said it this morning, but... That one time when he dropped it, right? Looking at porno mags at Big Sis's store. Well, we gotta rip the wrapper and like... I don't know. We, we, we gotta open it very carefully. Oh, another one! Another birthday note, maybe? But I don't wanna... Kit God. <laughs> Have a break. Have a Kit God. <laughs> Kit Cat, I get it. Okay, what's in the desk? More gifts? This is like a treasure hunt. Oh. It's a bag of candy, probably. Hmm? Oh, fuck. <laughs> what I mean, it's kind of cute, yeah. Not what I was expecting. Kind of looks like some kind of Pokemon. Say thank you. No, it's perfect. Oh. The silent Riz. All he had to say was say thank you. She's like, oh my god! August 2nd. That's like four months out. We won't, we won't see that until like, I don't know, season two or whatever. I bet Shiraishi would go all out for Kubo's birthday. Even if he says this. Yeah, have a kit got. Oh. oh, the way that she's feeding him. Oh, okay. She should have uh, bit one in the other end and like fed us while she was biting it. That's kind of more reserved for Yuri moments, especially with Pocky, but... Maybe we can make a little uh, exception for his birthday. I don't know if I should be happy about that or incredibly depressed. It's kind of sad. But hey, this is nice though that she's doing this for him. No, he's so embarrassed probably. Maybe he's been crying, so he's so happy. 
Come on, show a smile, man. Come on. We're not gonna hang out on his birthday? Just to see you tomorrow? It's her birthday, though. Come on, let's go do something together special. Come on. Really? <laughs> just, just right there, right there, teacher. Teacher, right behind you. Right behind you, teacher. Jesus Christ. At least he's so tiny and cute. Oh! Right behind you, right behind you. Mm. This, this mul multiple Kubos. Almost feels like a recap episode, to be honest. We're just going through the past memories. Because nobody cares about you, bro. But Kubo, <laughs> Kubo does. Figure it out. No way he's going to figure it out. I doubt there's going to be any sort of romantic development in the finale. That's the yearbook, right? Yeah. They had to like edit him in, but he was already in the uh, the school photo. Yeah, he's right there. That's how this anime even like started. She was interested because he was so... Such a background character? That's kind of crazy, huh? That a girl would just like specifically go for a guy that's so forgettable, so bland. Like, that's her goal. Wow, I found him. <laughs> it's like a super rare Pokemon she's trying to find. I have no clue. It's just a running gag in this show. So she just found it funny that he was so invisible, nobody noticed him. But slowly she started to... When did she start to fall for him? This is just her kind of... Not really stalking him, but just like observing him. And like, wow, what an interesting creature. Everyone thinks he's invisible. He's so inexpressive. That, that makes a girl really, you know, get to heart going doki doki. Wow, it's the invisible kid. She still hasn't really fallen for him. This is still just like interested because he's such a silent and inexpressive guy. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. What's up? Oh my god, someone actually knows I exist. Someone actually acknowledged me. How do you see me right now? Voice cracking in this first impression during the intro, probably not a good sign, but because it's Kubo, she probably thinks that it's cute. She just likes teasing him, just like observing him, shaking his boots. I don't know, it's just... And then this somehow goes from this random interest to love at which point, really? Bye-bye. Why is the credits showing? Wait, wait, don't tell me this is the episode. Damn, that really was the episode, huh, bro? I had, like, no expectations. Knowing the nature of the series, for there to be any sort of like crazy romantic development at the end. In fact, the last episode, the date episode, that was good enough, right? But like, I don't know. I felt like it's the finale. This felt like a recap episode, don't you think? Should I get upset at this? I think I have a right to get upset at this, man. I wanted a fucking finale where some, some crazy thing happens. They start kissing, holding hands maybe, but no. We kind of just got a recap episode. Not really. There was a lot of like mentions in the past. It's just kind of cool to see like Kubo how she got to know Shiraishi in the past, how this all even started, but eh, it is what it is. I'm sure there is plenty more animes to watch, but hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time, take care!